So we've been committing resources every day, checking in with our local health departments, local hospitals, trying to track down who's getting the vaccine and why it's not happening faster. And so here's where things stand with some of the counties and hospitals who replied to us. Let's start our list with Sacramento County currently vaccinating through phase 1B subgroups. That's law enforcement, emergency services, and those 65 and over. They expect they'll be able to move to educators and child care providers within the next week to 10 days, and that will be closely followed by agricultural workers. As of last week, the county has averaged about 4,500 daily doses. Yellow County expects to remain in the phase 1B tier 1 with seniors 65 and over for the coming weeks. The county on average receiving some 1500 doses a week. So that's a slight bump up, but still not enough to vaccinate quickly the county's population of 220,000. More than 46,000 doses have gone to Placer County residents as of February 1st, and this number does not include the direct allotments to Kaiser and Sutter Health. Those in Placer County can text Placer Vaccine to the number 898211 to receive text alerts about the eligibility. UC Davis Health currently vaccinating 2,000 people daily between their Sacramento and their Roseville clinics. They're currently vaccinating UC Davis patients 65 and over, also health care workers. UC Davis Health is adding that it is difficult to gauge when they can advance to the next subgroup, saying that vaccine supply has just been unpredictable and they don't know what's coming next week. Sutter Health is hovering around 3,000 daily doses between its three clinics in Sacramento, Roseville and Modesto. They just expanded to 65 and over last week and they don't have immediate plans to expand to the next group. Sutter Health also stresses that the vaccine capacity is their main issue. They need better vaccine supply. Dignity Health has been scaling up vaccination efforts through Mercy Medical Group group vaccination clinics as well as clinics in partnership with Sacramento County. Those 65 and older are eligible for this. Their next vaccine clinic will be at Sacramento City College. That's scheduled for this upcoming Saturday, February 13th. And finally, Kaiser Permanente is still focusing on individuals 75 and older. They explained that due to a small supply of vaccine in comparison to their membership, Kaiser has only received enough to vaccinate 4.5% of their California members. Specifically here in Northern California, there are more than 270,000 members who are older than 75. And right now, Kaiser is getting an average of 25,000 doses a week. Those are also being used to vaccinate health care workers.